Next, we turn to author and nationally renowned speaker, Dr. Jane Bluestein, author of such books as The Parents' Little Book of Lists, Creating Emotionally Safe Schools, and 21st Century Discipline, Dr. Bluestein has appeared internationally as a speaker and talk show guest, including several appearances as a guest expert on CNN, National Public Radio, and The Oprah Winfrey Show. A common theme of Dr. Bluestein's work is the importance of relationship building, both in life and in a school setting. Here she explains why it is beneficial to build a strong relationship with parents and gives examples on how to begin to gain parental support. Parental support is really important because, well, let's face it, you know, parents are the most important influence in a child's life. Uh, teachers are running a pretty close second, and when the two forces can join and, uh, and there is a cooperation and there is support and there is communication between the two, between the home and the school, uh, you've got so much more power as a teacher behind you. I have been really recommending for years that teachers start enlisting parents uh, by letting the parents know what their policies are, what their intentions are, what their goals are, where their flexibility lies, and uh, you know, and letting the parents know ahead of time. This is this is what I'd like to do. You know, here's my homework policy. Here's my in-class policy. Here's this. Here's how you can support this. And to get a sense from the parents, is this something? You know, are we on the same page here? When kids know that the parents are behind the teachers and that, they're, that everybody is on the same page and we're all working together, the kids are much more likely to be more cooperative, certainly in school, because they know that the parents, it's, you know, that, that, that the parents are already behind the teacher and what the teacher is doing. When kids go home and they hear parents talking about, oh, these teachers don't know anything or, oh, these schools are so bad, it undermines the credibility and the authority of the teacher and kids it also creates some internal conflict because I think kids really want to like their teachers um, and they really want to do well. I'm convinced, I don't believe for a second that kids walk into school thinking, gee, you know, how can I fail here today? This is about how can I be successful and how can I create a connection? We know that the connection between the teacher and the student and the way the student feels about the teacher and the way the student perceives the teacher feels about him or her uh, are some of the most important factors in whether that child's going to be successful in school or not. And if the parents are talking in positive ways about what the school is doing, or, oh, you know, if the kids overhear the parents say, oh, my kid has such a great teacher, or we're so glad that my daughter is in this class, or we're so glad my child, you know, my son hooked up with this teacher, immediately that kind of gives me, you know, gives the student uh, Immediately, it gives the student a sense that they're in the right place. Uh, it is okay to like this person. It is okay to expect good things from this person. And it is okay to do well in this person's care. Okay, what are some of the things we can do to create parental support early in the year? You know, let's how about we meet with the parents or at least start sending some information home, making a few phone calls. Um, I know I taught in a community where that was not particularly encouraged because there were some safety issues about going into some of the communities. You know, every one of us, every one of the new teaching interns, we did it anyhow because it felt that important. You know, we care about your kid. We want you to be a part of this child's education. We want you to be a part of this process. You know, you're my ally in this kid's education. Education and, and before I start off the year with this kid, you know, let's let's meet, let's talk about what I want to want for this child, talk about what you want for this child, and how are we going to work together. One of the other steps um, when I worked with teaching interns as a supervisor, I used to encourage regular positive contact. Regular, you build a relationship with the parents. This doesn't happen automatically, especially in some communities. The parents are so automatically hostile and, and so automatically defensive because usually they only hear from us, you know, as teachers when there's a problem. And in fact, I, I'll never forget the first time I called a parent. Uh, I remember the kid's name was Billy, I think, and he had done something really well. He had, like, mastered something in, in math. And I called the mom to say, hey, your kid's doing really well. And her response was, yeah, what do you want? All she heard was Bluestein from the school, and she couldn't get past that. She immediately went into this defense and survival mode, and, um, you know, and I had to say, you know, I was a little shocked, and I'm thinking, okay, now how could I have possibly not said that right? I said, you know, your kid had a really great week in math. I just wanted to let you know. And that's 
where the shift came. But immediately her assumption was, if I'm hearing from the school, my child must be in trouble, they must be calling me to fix something, or they must be blaming him for something. And you know, regular positive contact. I had a principal one time tell me uh, he called, I think it was a principal of a middle school, made a point to call every parent of every child once a semester. He just kept a list and he would find out something nice, something positive about maybe 12, 15 kids a day. He said the average amount of time he spent on the phone with the parents was 17 seconds. Not big, long conversations. I'm not calling to talk about the weather. I don't want to hear about your operation. It's like I just called. I ran into your kid's gym teacher, and I hear kid's really making an effort in class. He's really doing well. Or, you know, I just saw your kid's science teacher. I saw your child's science teacher. And, uh, and she said, boy, he did a terrific project and whatever. And I, I just thought you might want to know that people were saying nice things about your kid today. Boy, oh boy, did that change the, the level of parental involvement. Um, you know, imagine you're a parent and you hear from me once a week, once a month or whatever, and the only thing I'm telling you about is here's what your kid did great. I kind of found out about this by accident. I uh, picked one of my toughest classes. I was in a departmentalized setting, and I had a couple really tough classes, and I found if I sent home a good note, just here's a list of things I'm looking for, and they were observable, um, very specific behaviors, things like even, you know, says please and thank you, turns in homework four out of five days a week or whatever, and started making a point to give kids credit for at least three or four a week, even the kids that were having a bad week, find the things that they had done kind of the least worst, you know, and so every week, here's a parent getting note and feedback from me. Uh, and I almost always tried to make a little note on the bottom, even things like great sense of humor, something positive that, about this child. Focus on what the kid was doing well, um, you know, really helpful with the other kids, uh, turned in excellent homework, uh, improved in neatness, anything that would give the parents some feedback about how the kid was doing in school. The thing that really surprised me, I didn't even think these notes were going home, some of them, and I had one class, a group of eighth graders that, uh, I thought were way too cool to even be bothered with these things. And I had one Friday, because they always went home on Friday, one Friday I had a parent come in and I didn't get a chance to, uh, to actually get my good notes out. Do you know my kids actually held the bus? They would not go home without their good notes. The other piece of that is here you're a parent and every Friday you're getting something from me about what your kid is doing well. Then there's no big surprises at the end of the semester. Um, if the kid is not getting checks where it says turns in homework, four out of five days a week, you can't say, gee, I didn't know there was a problem because this is pulling the kid's grade down or that the kid, you know, it's like you've got some feedback. The other piece of that is when we're focusing on the positive and you're hearing from me every Friday, here's what your kid did well, here's what your kid did, here's where the kid's making progress. And then if there is a problem, I've already got a connection with you and I've already got a context where I could call you and say, you know, something weird kind of happened today or we've got something going on. Let me tell you what I saw. Let me tell you how I'm handling it. And the teachers that I've worked with that have the greatest success with this approach are the ones that have not tried to drag the parent into it or tried to make the parent responsible. You know, a lot of times, you know, it's tempting to call and say, you know what, the little jerk did today, you know, that kind of thing. And you better have a talk with them. No, 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 this is my problem. You weren't there. You didn't see this. Let me take responsibility because this is one of the skills I'm trying to build in the kids. You know what I found? The less I asked the parents to kind of jump in and solve my problems for me, the more supportive they were and the more involved they were and the more help they actually ended up giving me. Um, no, this isn't, let, let me handle it. Here's what's going on. Here's what I'm doing about it. Let me call you in a couple days and let you know. All of a sudden, I've got parents that are much more involved, much more supportive. Uh, it was kind of paradoxical that the less I asked from them, the more they were willing to give.